Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Gin with Spearing, Gin Innovating Now with Rutico. Today's topic is looking at how Vibe Muller is helping customers improve the way they connect machines. It gives me great pleasure to welcome Ivor from Vibe Muller to be with us today. Hello. We've known each other for 30 odd years, Ivor. Can you believe that? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so before we get into this wide range of products you've got here on the table, can you introduce yourself and your role at Vibe Miller, please? Sure. Yeah, hi. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Ivor Hunt. Um, I am the local product marketing specialist for interconnectivity. Um, and part of that portfolio is the HTC product, uh, which you see in front of me. I think for the, the first. Um, part of the, the product offer is to look at the the core fixed pole products. Absolutely. So if you can just explain these products at the front here and what, what the offer is from Vibrilla. Sure. Um, well, these four products represent the four standard terminations for a wire into, into our heavy duty connectors. At the standard HA and HE products, uh, we do four, six, 10, uh, 16 and 24 way, which is similar to, to other manufacturers. Um, and these four are the four, as I say, standard ways of connecting a wire. So we have um, a crimp, yep. which is little used these days. Mm -hmm. um, we have a tension clamp where you need a, a screwdriver to open it up. Um, we also have push-in, which uh, is for a ferrule wire. And we also obviously have the screw terminal, which is what most people are familiar with and probably is, is the greatest usage um, of the different styles. I think it's the industry standard, isn't it? You know, it is. I've been yeah. working with these for you know, 25, 30 years. It's always been that go-to um, default. But again, you know, you put these onto a machine, the machine gets moved around if you're not talking them up correctly. So again, the whole industry has moved forward yes. with, with more you know, pushing technology. So again, this is a new product in this in this range as well. It um, is indeed. Can you yeah. explain a bit more about this because this is using a, a, a new technology. Isn't this it? this is a brand new technology. Um, this is Snap In. Um, we've won the German Innovation Award for 2022 for for this product, mm. and it is simply a, a huge time saver. Mm. Um, so as you can see from the different sizes, it is available in all, all the standard sizes. Um, and to terminate a wire, um, these have got a ferrule on, but you don't need to have a ferrule. It can be stranded or, or right. solid. Um, and it's simply a matter of inserting it, and that click is, it's in. And you never get it. You never get that. You, you will pull the insulation off, off the wire before it comes out. Um, and to get it out, it's simply a case of pushing it till it clicks again. Wow. That removes. Um, and that's now reset to accept the wire again. I think we were talking earlier, it's that engineering click, isn't it? It, it, it is, absolutely. It's understanding, it's, okay, that's definitely seated, and yep. you can move along. And I think by offering it in a an option, you don't have to put a ferrule on it, the time savings will be... Time great. saving is huge. You've got the cost saving of not needing a ferrule. Yeah. Um, obviously, the time saving of getting the ferrule on there, um, and then the insertion and, and screw or tension clamp or, or whatever. Um, so it is by far the quickest method. It's probably around an 80% saving on the standard screw. Um, so put that on a few connectors side by side, you're saving a lot of time. A lot of time and effort. Okay. A lot of money, on the yeah. Back of that. I think yeah, that's a really absolutely. important new product to, sh to show the audience today. Um, so thanks for that. Again, you do all the accessories and the hoods and, and everything that goes yes. with those. Yeah, as I say, they are in the standard sizes. So all your normal metal work that you use for heavy duty connectors, these just drop in as a, yeah. as a standard insert. Mm. So there's no need to change any of the metal work. It's, it's just saving time using a different insert. And I think if I remember rightly, your levers, they are, are they stainless steel? They are stainless steel, yes. Um, again, we've got the option of a single lever. Um, and what's probably more standard is, is the double, double lever. Um, no IP rating on those, are they? They're all IP65. Um, we do offer some uh, IP68s as well for those that need them. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, the, the most commonly used is, is this IP65 range. Yeah. Um, it is ready for, for indoor usage. Mm -hmm. um, if anybody wants some outdoor, we have some additional uh, different styles of IP65 as well for outdoor use. You also do this, this widespread and constantly expanding modular range now. Can you explain a little bit more about the, we, 
a little bit more about the modular offer. We, we do indeed. Um, we've had a modular offer for quite a few years, um, but our engineers in Germany looked at um, the range a few years ago, probably about four or five years ago now, and really wanted to, to see what new product they could bring to market. Um, and it was all around more or less. So um, the most common and most popular um, size for the inserts was a 12-way, um, which I think we've probably got here. Um, yeah, it's this one. This is the 12-way one. Um, and that's a single module size. Um, so obviously, if you want 36 connections, you put three of those. Yeah. So that's three modules wide. Um, three modules fits into a size four housing. And away you go, that's fine. However, you now have the choice because we've got this new two module wide, 36 way. Wow. So it's the same number of connections in two thirds of the space. Yeah. So as an engineer, you have a choice. You can either keep those 36 and use that extra one for something else, for yep. a different module, or just keep the 36 in that too and go down a size in metalwork. So it? you're saving costs on the metalwork and also you're saving real estate. Yeah, that's really important. Um, so that there is an option. You can put more into the same space or reduce mm -hmm. the metalwork that you're using. Um, and I think as illustrated here, um, you can have power, signal, and data. Um, these are CAT6 connectors, okay. um, all in the same connector. So I think it's really um, important you see a lot of machines they have different connectors don't they so Absolutely. you're reducing a lot of time a lot of machining potentially of the panel by going through one yes i think the other interesting uh, version for me is i know you've got the, the the power and the data and the signal um but also you do a, a pneumatics module as we well. have pneumatics as well um the two different sizes so we've got the three and the six mil yeah. pneumatic modules um, which you can see here um and again with our our module plug um frames you can have male and female in, in both sides, you're not restricted. So if for some reason you did want to use male and female together, that's no problem at all. Um, and our frames, as long as you use a pair of frames, again, everything will make together correctly. Everything is polarized, mm -hmm. so you can't put them in the wrong way around. Um, and away you go. Are you doing these in the SNAP terminals as well? Are you doing those? At, at the moment, um, we haven't any. Mm -hmm. But who's to say what, what might come along yeah, in the future? Be a good option, wouldn't it? Yeah, it absolutely. Be and as I say, we've already expanded from the heavy duties through to the PCB, through to the DIN rail products. So. Evolution in the future. And we're looking to, to expand the range, yeah. We've got another um, thing I was thinking about. It's obviously power through these connectors. What's the, what's the highest power? The highest power is 200 amp, wow. um, which is quite a sizable connector. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a crimp version, but again, to save time, money, um, these are the axial screw. Okay. So the cable uh, sits in the rear and you insert an Allen key down the front and, and tie tighten it up with the Allen key. Absolutely. Okay. And those go, those Allen key ones, axial ones, go from uh, 40 amp up to the 200 amp. Brilliant. So again, wide scope there, isn't it, Ivor? Huge. So again, you, you've got your, your CAT6 for your, for your Ethernet IP networks. Yep. You've also got your, your signal uh, out into the field as well. You've also got your power and pneumatics if you need it okay, to potentially go off further into applications. Indeed, yep. You know, for robotics and, and things like that. Absolutely. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. So you've answered that one really well. So the last one I had was was looking more about kits as well because there's lots of components. So, you know, can uh, you buy standard kits for absolutely. these products? Or yes. can you request um, a kit of parts underneath the part number as well? You can. Our standard kits, really, there's there's five five um, bits to a set. So you've got um, your bulkhead housing, mm -hmm. you've got your hood, you've got your male and female inserts, and you've got your cable, cable gland. Mm -hmm. um, and for the standard, um, let's say, six, ten um, connections, we offer those five parts in a box mm -hmm. with one part number. Brilliant which obviously makes life a lot easier. Um, storage is easier because you've got one little box. If it turns up, you know you've got everything you need to put everything together. Um, so you're not waiting for that fifth part to turn up if you've got the other four. Um, and it, it's nice and convenient, obviously. If um, the customer wants a kit, 
that isn't a standard kit, then yes, we can put those together, absolutely. Um, there is an MOQ, but I don't think it's that huge. It's about 50 pieces um, for a special kit. Um, and we can also have other specials. So you'll see these are all marked with the Vibe on the logo and part number. We can change that for the customer's part number and logo if, if that's what they want. Just making more relevant. So an OEM that's making Absolutely. lots of machines, maybe 100 machines per year, they can put something on the side of that. Yeah. Just makes it a bit more. They can have their own part numbers yeah, on there. Yeah, I think it's really important. Um, we do have our part number, so it's nice and easy to, to reorder if you should ever need to. Um, and a lot of the newer product now across our range um, have got a QR code on. So you can just scan it. So you can just scan it and get all the information, data sheets and everything else that you need. So it just it came into my mind also, by having one part, it's easy for purchasing rather than five parts. A lot also, easier. Also for goods inwards, so if they've got a lot, lot of parts coming from a machine, yeah. They've just got one part to book in as well. And those, yes. are, those are hidden savings. Yes, absolutely. And we do straight um, straight hoods, right-angled hoods. Mm -hmm. um, we do plastic and metal yeah. um, in the size ones. Um, and we do single and double lever versions. So um, they're all online. We, we do have a, a, a catalogue, but um, our larger catalogues are available as PDFs online yeah. as well. That's brilliant. And the difference between the black hoods and the and the grey? What's uh, the, okay. the, the black hoods, um, these are our EMC oh. hoods. So they're still IP65 in this particular version, um, but they've got the EMC moulding on the side there. Okay. Um, and also it's because the, the seal is then hidden, if you like, from daylight, these are suitable for outdoor use as well. Okay. Brilliant. Well, that's great. Thanks very much for that, Ivor. Pleasure. Um, I hope this video gives you a better understanding of what the Vibe Rockstar HDC Heavy Duty Connector product offer looks like. Now, thanks for being with us. Okay, I've, I've learned some stuff already today, and I thought I knew all about this, this product before, Ivor. So if you're looking to know more, please get in touch with, with your local Retico sales representative or use the below website link to get in touch with myself. Thanks for watching this video today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell. Look out for the next Jim Whispering video coming very soon. Thank you.